Hi there and welcome to this training video. In today's video we're going to look at making a slick download link for a PDF using PHP Redirect and File Manager in four easy steps. You're going to need access to the File Manager which is usually in your C panel and the PDF to download. I'll be using this PDF presentation in this example but you can use any file you want, a video, a PDF, a zip file, it doesn't matter. The first thing I'll do is compress this file just to make sure it's as small as possible, reducing images and cropping unseen sections of image and so on. And then export the file to PDF. I'm going to call it this file for the client.pdf and we're going to re refer to that later on and just make sure that the file type is correct. There it is. Let's double click and check. And there we have it, there's our PDF. This could be anything you want. Zip file, images, photos, as I said. Next, we're gonna upload the file to our web server. So most hosting comes with the file manager facility. You log into your cPanel, click file manager, and locate your website route. I use a service called Crystal, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. I log in, and I scroll down to my primary service within my hosting account. You can see that right here in the middle on the left my services. From there I've got one service set up and I'm going to launch my cPanel and you can see sections like email, files, databases, domains and we're looking for file manager which is here underneath files. This launches a, an old school style and you can see the different domain names I have under my management and I'm looking for marklulo.com and I'm now in the root of my website. Let's take a quick look at what's next. We're going to create a folder called docs. So from here, I click plus folder in the top left corner and I call it docs, easy. Let's double click that folder to go inside it. And according to the PDF, the next stage is to upload the PDF to the web server. From there, we click upload, which loads a new screen. And then I simply drag and drop the file into the window. Now I can take the file name and add it to the root name, which is markclulo.com forward slash docs, and access the file directly on the web. So let's test that. Now, it doesn't look so beautiful, it's a bit clunky, so this is what we're gonna try and mask with our redirect. But you could always just send this link to the customer. Let's test it out now. I'm going to markclulo.com forward slash docs forward slash this file for the client.pdf. And sure enough, there it is. I can send that link to anyone and they can access that PDF now but I'm gonna go one step further and make that beautiful URL redirect. So let's see what that looks like. From here, let's double check. Next, we're gonna create our redirect folder. So we decide on the URL we want to send to the client for download. The really nice thing here is that we can always point to a different file later if we wanna update or amend the presentation. We're gonna call this one Jim's Proposal, presuming that your client's name is Jim. So again, we create a new folder and this one's going to be called Jim's Proposal. This is the catchy, beautiful URL we're looking for. All right, we double click to enter that folder and let's go back to our PDF. In there, we need to create one very small PHP file called index.php. Here it is. So I can copy and paste the code. Now I've left a deliberate error in, uh, in this video. So if I show you, I copy and paste it into the file manager, and then I'm gonna to need to change the example link to wherever it is I'd like to send the customer, which you can see there is that PDF file that we just uploaded. So I click plus file to create a new file. I'm gonna call it index.php, which makes my web server automatically open it when someone accesses that folder. Right click and edit. And this opens up a pretty old school editor, but it's good enough for today. I paste, and you can see these little glitches, these double errors. So where you can see a red dot, I'm just gonna put in two line breaks. That's a classic mess up between Microsoft formatting and more kind of raw text. And there we go. Next, I have to change HTTP www.example.com to the actual specific link to my PDF. Now I'm linking directly to it. And this is where I'd come and change it if say in the future, I wanted to change to like PDF2 or PDF.zip which would have a number of PDFs inside it. Totally up to me, I can change that anytime I like, and I don't have to change the original URL that I sent to the client, which is super useful. You don't have to say, oh, ignore that last link and click this one. You just update the results of the link. 
So there we go. We've now created that redirect. So to double check, we're gonna test. If we go to markclulo.com slash Jim's proposal, it will open up the default index file, which automatically redirects the user to the specific PDF file that we explicitly outlined in our PHP file. Little five line file there. So let's test it. Let's visit markclulo.com slash Jim's proposal and let's see what the result is. Here we go, new window. Let's get that done and from Jim's proposal, I hit enter and you get this seamless redirection to the PDF file. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions.